Hey Ortiz Cougars, this is Coach Hernandez. Welcome to a great series of PE and health videos. In this series of videos, you will be learning about how the body works. Every day, Monday through Friday, you will be learning about a different body part of your body. Make sure you pay close attention to the video because I will be providing you a quiz with some questions I want you to answer shortly after the video. Here is today's video and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. The nerves in those guys. Let me guess, the pinky gang? They got my mommy! <laughs> what? Your mommy? Those knuckle-headed jerks! This has gone too far. Now it's personal. It's mommy saving time. Read me that note again. Dear little nerd, oh, that's what she calls me. The Pinky Gang has taken me to the final chamber. And that's it. That's all she had time to write before they took her away. Hmm, sounds like a riddle to me. We just have to figure out what it means. Oh, I'm out of breath and my heart's thumping like a runaway train. That's because your body's working hard, which means your heart and lungs have to work harder to get oxygen through your body. <gasps> Wait! That's the answer! The heart! Isn't the answer always in our hearts? Well, yes, but I meant the answer to the riddle. I think they've taken her to the chambers of the heart. Oh, yes, exactly as I suspected. They may have the head start, but we have the advantage. We know the circulatory system. We do? We're going to follow this vein directly to the heart. Thank you, kind River, for taking us on this noble quest. Nerb, it's blood. That's its job. Your veins carry blood to the heart, and your arteries carry blood away from the heart. Away from my heart? Is that safe? It's not just safe, it's necessary. You need blood everywhere, from the top of your head to your toes. And arteries and veins, called blood vessels, are how the blood gets there and back again. But why? What do my toes need blood for? Your body is made of tiny cells that all need oxygen. It's your blood's job to bring the oxygen to every part of your body, including your toes. So how does this oxygen get in the blood? The lungs bring oxygen into the body when you breathe. From there, it has to find its way to every other part of your body. And the blood is its delivery service. The heart pumps blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen, then pumps the oxygenated blood out to the rest of the body. After the blood has delivered all the oxygen, it picks up carbon dioxide, a waste product. Then the blood goes back to the lungs to drop off the carbon dioxide and pick up more oxygen. And the whole process begins again. The circle of life. Uh, Chloe, how long are we going to be on this boat? There's no earthly way of knowing. The oxygen just keeps on flowing. And the eyeballs keep on rowing. And they show no signs of slowing. Oh, oh Chloe, make it stop. Okay, we're here. Chloe, this heart is huge! The human heart is only about the size of a fist, but this is the heart of Bodylandia. Now, the note says they have her in the final chamber. If we follow the blood flow through the heart, it will take us through the four chambers of the heart, the two atria and two ventricles, and right to her. Watch out, mommy stealers! Here we uh, Nurb, blood is going that way. Here we come. We started in the right atrium where the blood enters the heart. From there, we follow the blood through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Valves keep blood flowing into the right direction. Next, it took us through another valve, the pulmonary this time, and through the pulmonary artery up to the lungs. That's where the blood loaded up on oxygen. We all left that place fully oxygenated, exited through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium, then at last through the mitral valve, and into the left ventricle. The final chamber. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's that noise? Mommy! Oh no! What have you done to her? Jonathan Nerbquist Nerbington, you shush now. I'm fine. But you were stolen by the Pinky Gang. How could you be fine? Stolen? I wasn't stolen, you silly little Nerb. I'm teaching my Monday morning yoga and meditation class. What? Didn't you read the note I left you? <clears throat> the Pinky Gang has taken me to the final chamber. Turn it over. Oh, <clears throat> For our Monday morning yoga and meditation class. But it's the Pinky Gang. They're the bad guys. Oh, they're not that bad. They just need to relax. I'm teaching them how to find their centers. I feel so focused. So tranquil. I never realized being evil was so stressful. Why don't you join us? When we're done, we can all leave together with the oxygen-rich blood through the aorta. Circulatory, circulatory, circulatory. Wow, wasn't that a great lesson? What I want you to do next is go to the comment section below, type in your name, grade level, classroom teacher, and answer the questions as best as you can. To answer, just type in the question number and letter that matches the correct answer. I will be checking to see if you answered the questions below correctly and I will be providing the answers the following day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and press the notifications button to continue learning from these great videos. See you soon.